I'm Bruce Yang, and today in Homemade Science, I want to show you my latest example of a tumbling toy. Now, these types of toys have been around for a while, and you can buy one commercially. The first tumbler uses a golf ball inside this clear plastic juice bottle. It has two pencils as the axles, and they're glued to the outside. This is what it looks like. Now, let's take a look at it in action. These clear bottles make it easy to see the interaction between the bottle and the materials inside. They also make it easy to experiment with other materials. Inside this tumbler we're going to use these five steel balls. This next tumbler has two changes. I move the axles from the outside of the bottle to inside the bottle. And I also replace those smaller balls with these BBs. Now I found I can replace the solids in the container with liquids. In this case I have a little bit of water in there with some red dye so that we can see it better. Let's give this a try. Now I just love watching these in slow motion and I think being able to see inside helps us understand a little bit better about what's taking place. Now first of all, by lifting it up on the track, I'm giving the tumbler gravitational potential energy. The bottle's going to be on just enough of a slant that it rolls from the upper part of the bottle down to the lower part. That lower pencil is acting as an axle or a pivot point. Once the object gets past it, it can then apply a torque or a turning force which is going to cause the bottle to rotate around that lower position. With a half turn of the tumbler, the upper axle now becomes the lower axle and the process repeats itself. You also may have noticed that in some cases, just the opposite happens. If the balls don't roll down the inside quickly enough, they apply a torque at the upper end of the bottle which momentarily lifts the lower end upwards. Some explanations have emphasized momentum and impacts happening inside the container being responsible for turning the tumbler. While that may be true in some cases, in the next demonstrations we'll see that that's not quite necessary. 
Previously, we saw how quickly the tumbler moved with water inside. Now let's try something a little bit slower. Here's some dish soap. Now let's see how this works. Wow, 15 minutes to go from the top to the bottom. It's a good thing I used a time lapse. I was getting tired of watching it. Now, why do you think the bottle was so slow? The difference, of course, is viscosity, or how easily the liquid flows. For each half rotation, it takes a few minutes for enough soap to slowly flow down the sides of the bottle and apply a big enough torque to cause it to rotate. <laughs> I think the tumbler with the BB has to be my favorite. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're interested in building one of these, I'll have a follow-up video which will go through some suggestions on construction. Now, the build of this was done with all common materials and could be easily done with hand tools. But if you want to try something even easier, you could actually try and build this out of cardboard. Before I put a lot of time and effort into the wooden frame, I tried it out of cardboard to see if it would work. Now, it is possible to go smaller, this one is made out of all cardboard and uses marbles inside the tumbler. Or if you're good with tools, this one's a bit more challenging. I also have previous videos on tumbling toys and I'll list those at the end, or you can find a more complete listing of gravity powered toys in the description below. But anyway, thanks for watching and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.